Hi, this is Alex Skolnick from Testament, and you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, this is Joe from Loudwire, and I'm here with Alex Skolnick, guitar player for Testament. How you doing? All right, Joe, how are you? Thanks, pretty good. Right. Thanks for sitting down with us today. Good to be here. So, finally got another Testament record coming out, Brotherhood of the Snake. Finally. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. You guys seem to take your time when you're writing an album. Um, a lot of bands seem to be able to record whenever they want, write, send files all over the place. Um, you guys we're, take a little bit of time, so. <laughs> we're not you, capable of <laughs> doing it whenever <laughs> we want. <laughs> um, so how does it feel with the pressure, um, only putting out an album you know, every four years or so instead of kind of like on a two year cycle? Um, it's kind of all eyes are on testament now whenever putting um, out another album. I don't think uh, you need to put out records the way you used to. I mean, I see some bands uh, doing that still. You know, they'll put out a record, tour, uh, immediately try to go in the, next, the studio, put out the next one. Um, the first few years of the band were like that. Mm -hmm. It was just this constant um, pressure cooker, in a way. Um, you know, maybe some bands probably thrive with that kind of schedule, I think. Um, for this band, it wasn't um, wasn't the best way uh, to go about things, um, and I think every band is is probably different. And, I, and once um, when the group reunited, and you know, about ten years ago, mm -hmm. um, I came back. I'd been gone for a long Number time years. doing other types of music and all, all kinds of stuff. Um, at that time, we weren't even sure about. Record, you know what I mean? It was just a we kept it low pressure, and I think um, one of the reasons we're still going and we're going strong is because we've we've kept kind of kept it as low pressure as we mm -hmm. can. And it doesn't mean you know put out a record every ten years or something, but it um, it's definitely not like it used to where you you know it was like a, a year. Mm -hmm. um, I think we would like to have records out sooner. I know personally, I would like to see the records done sooner. <laughs> But um, I, also, I also understand, um, you know, s certain touring uh, requires a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And there are um, artists uh, that can be productive on tour and come up with new music. Not that many. <laughs> and I think that's, mm -hmm. that's a special skill. You know, the multitasking of uh, putting on a great show and the travel and c coming up with a record. So um, be, I think part because there, there has been so much uh, demand for the band to tour, which is a great thing, um, the, you know, that affects the uh, schedule. That's one of the reasons why <coughs> records, um, our, our albums don't come out sooner. And now one of the most interesting things about the last one, Dark Roots of Earth, is that um, with Gene Hoagland, he seems like he's opened it up a little bit, incorporated some blast beats. I mean, right. now your sound is running, you've got blast beats on one end, and then you've got other stuff that sound like it could be maybe off the ritual or something like right. that. Um, so what's it like now having this huge sonic scope to play with, where before it was a little bit more defined with each album? Yeah, I, I think it's a good thing. I mean, I think, uh, you know, it, it's good to have, <clears throat> um, different options and different colors. I, I don't think um, we're one of those bands where it's uh, just the same sound. Uh, and some bands are great mm -hmm. like that. You know, ACDC, you buy one of their records, you don't want it to sound that different. Yeah, same thing with Motorhead. And, um, and we don't sound drastically different, but there, you, know, there are, you can find albums that are different than others. Um, and somebody who you know likes the, the blast beats and maybe the uh, the more guttural vocals mm -hmm. um, might not like the ritual as much. Uh, but you know there are people that really like that record, and um, it's nice to be able to do take you know take a little of both. Because mm -hmm. to me, like, what's really the most interesting is hearing you know after listening to certain musicians for half my life. Right. Um, so much longer for others. It's really nice to hear you play something different. Like, all right, cool. What else do these guys do? What else are they capable of? Yeah. So that's what um, would you say that kind of helps excite the writing process? Is that you have all these different doors open in front of you when it comes time to write a New Testament record? You know, 
we can go into a little bit of a softer song here. I mean, you've got a really versatile singer to go with, too. That's true. That's true. Uh, we, there, there's not a lot of soft songs on this record. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, we, yeah, we're capable of that. Uh, maybe because we've done that, I, I think uh, maybe it's not as, um, it, you yeah, know, there, there isn't a need for that. Um, and I think also because we're performing live so much, I think that's, um, that's influencing the music. I think, you know. Because you're playing you, songs from each era and different styles. Are yeah, we're, going, we're doing um, songs from the beginning. We're doing songs from uh, the most recent album, Dark Roots, uh, which really doesn't, it doesn't feel that different. It's kind of funny when we put those, the songs together in a set. Uh, they don't feel out of place. No, not and, at all. And even some, some stuff from uh, the era when I wasn't around, like the gathering. We put that in, and, and it works great. And I've kind of been finding my own um, place in, in those songs mm. as well. And I think, uh, you know, it all, it all influences um, the process. of doing. And also, you just get, you get more of a connection to what it feels like to play music live, which is... Yeah, which, which is important. Yeah. Ultimately, when you do an album, you want to capture the energy that you have mm -hmm. live, which is not, it's not easy to do. 